Drift Slave asks, what's my honest opinion on the Fire Emblem series artists like Yusuke Kozaki? Um, thank you. That's a great question, Drift Slave. Okay. Whew. Thought I had to use the fandom wiki for a second there. Let's go through this list, actually. That might be fun. So first off, we have Akira. Akira does the kind of more cartoony, almost more comic booky type of style. I'm okay with some of them, but I don't... I don't love any of these, to be honest. It's not my favorite. Like, Lanku looks good. There's nothing wrong with Lanku. It's fine. It's just, I like a little bit more detail, and I definitely like some of the shading that some other people will do in theirs. So you can even see, though, that he his style even changed over time, because we have original Olivia here. One of my least favorites, I'll be honest with you. Olivia is, like, super cute. I just don't think that this Olivia is that cute. This one's better, because it starts getting into more of the shading. I don't know. Yeah, I like the... Definitely much improved, in my opinion, with the style change there for Akira. This is a My Guitaro. I like a lot of these, honestly. Um, Katria is always great. Although, <laughs> people did point out the kind of back-breaking pose she's got going on here. It's definitely a thing. But, um, you know, gotta do the waifu pose, right? Love Jenny. Clarine leaves something to be desired, in my opinion. I don't love this artwork, but it's fine. There's nothing wrong with it. It's just kind of plain. Nino, I just don't really like Nino from a design standpoint. Sorry to everybody who loves Nino out there. That is great. Support Nino. Amelia is great. Love her artwork and heroes. A lot of people hate Amelia though. Mur, Mur looks great. Still don't have OG Mur though. This is that's beautiful. I love that. Beautiful art right there. I mean this one's fine, but I like OG Mur better. And then Hot Spring Sakura. It's fine, but it's not exciting, you know. My Guitaro is up there with some of my favorites, but I don't know necessarily that, that um, they are my favorite. AOG. I do like some of these. I think Bowie... Bowie's fine. He, his face is a little fat, I'd say. He looks a little... <laughs> this, is like, this is slow Bowie right here. He's fine. I guess I'm just more kind of mad how common he is and how often I pull him, so I don't love seeing him. Um, Quan. Nothing wrong with Quan, really. He's fine. Leaf, I will say, his face looks a little fat, too. I don't like his... This normal artwork is weird to me. His attack artwork, I'm totally down with. Um, his other artwork is better. I just don't like this standard one. He just looks like Chubbo Leaf to me. Um, so that's fine. Taruko Arai. Um, he did Alm here. Alm's fine. It's a little bit more stylized than what we saw in Echoes, perhaps. I don't hate it. There's something cool about it that I like. Sigbert, also same thing. I love the pinks here, actually, of the, in terms of colors. But um, overall style, not my favorite, but it's it's definitely, like, at least mid-range to me. I like it. And by the way, like, all of these artists are amazing. I don't want to, like, crap on any artists. I'm an artist myself. I definitely understand, like, how it feels to receive, like, really awful criticism about your artwork. I'm not trying to do that here. I'm just telling you guys, like, my personal favorites based on, like, aesthetics and just who I happen to like. Argon. I didn't realize this was, um, I didn't realize that Ninja, Ninja Reed is, uh, somebody new. Interesting. Oh, well, it definitely fits, because I didn't notice anything different about it. I hate that it's Ninja Reed, and I will have no qualms about sacking him for his skills. Tomoyo Asatani. This, I like some of these. Me, me likey. Burkut's got some great art here. Really like Burkut. Ira, amazing art. Although she does kind of look like, um, Erica with black hair. So from that perspective, I don't I don't love it, I guess, to that degree. And he also did Erica too, which really doesn't help. But uh, the Anamnesis Lady artwork is so beautiful. This is like jaw-dropping beautiful. That's just, the colors and stuff are just so gorgeous on that. The colors are a little like washed out, but Sacred Stones was kind of like that in general. So it kind of fits. I really like that. Also did, actually was every single Erica was done by Tomoyo. I didn't know that. And, uh, you know, Winter Eric is cool, too. It's nice. I like normal F-Frame. Um, Legendary F-Frame. He's fine. His face is not... I don't know. Something something I don't love about his face there. Original F-Frame's look is better to me, in my opinion. Although, um, who'd they have voice F-Frame? Greg Chun? Who is it? Give me more! More! That line is, like, really weird to me. Innis is fine. Valencia. Not bad. I like it. She looks a little different than Alencia in the games. I don't know. Something different about that. And uh, the original Alencia in Heroes actually looks kind of way different than uh, P.O.R. and Radiant Dawn Alencia too. B.T.H.X. Um, not going to lie. This is definitely near the bottom for me. I just think Corrin... When you have this and then Summer Corrin, like side by side, Corrin deserves a little bit better, I think. I don't like that Corrin, if I'm being honest. Not my favorite. It's not like... 
really bad or anything. I just don't like that one very much. Bun Bun. So Bun Bun is one I didn't like them that much at first, but this um, Love Abounds Alina, extremely cute. I like the colors are very beautiful here too. Great. Like this is another like progression one that like as time has gone on. Because if you look at like regular Alina. I'm not too huge of a fan of this one. It's fine, like, there's nothing wrong with it or anything, but... This one, just, I love that one for some reason. And even the new Roy, I think, is a lot better, too. Definitely some nice progression there. So, um... I can't say that that... Like, it's gonna be really hard for me to pick a favorite, but I'll... When we get to the end here, I'll lower it down to my top favorites. Chico? I always thought that the Robin Fell Vessel artwork was really nice. Yeah, I mean, that just looks great. Especially compared to some of the other Robins. I love that. Mikaya's fine. Her face is a little weird, maybe. Nothing wrong with that, though. Sylvia's cool. Nothing wrong here. Not my favorite of the favorites, but, um... Pretty solid. Faces. I guess faces I, I would like to be a little bit better or something. There's... He captures them, but, um... I don't know. Kaboon. I actually follow Kaboon on uh, Twitter. Kaboon stuff, you can definitely tell that it's Kaboon, too. I don't know if it's... Kaboon, Kaboon, love this artwork, especially New Owen, one of my faves. Great, beautiful, beautiful. Reinhardt, pretty classic. A lot of people don't like the new Reinhardt though, because his, his nose is kind of pointy. But I think it's a good progression from the OG Reinhardt. I like it. Um, Lucas, I'm not too stoked about personally. He's kind of just playing a little bit. He looks right, like he looks like he should. I don't know, he's just not my favorite. Pala looks great. Um, Summer Tana looks great. Can we just say? Nothing wrong with that one. Zero, zero percent wrong with that one. And also, forgot that he did this one too. It's great. It's great. I think they could have came up with a better outfit for her, for her Halloween alt. Considering that's probably the only Halloween alt she'll ever get. But, um, whatever. It's still good. So yeah, Kaboon's one of my favorites for sure. At least top three. At least. Abula, Abila. I do like this Winter Krom. I do. OG Krom. A lot of people were saying he looks kind of scrawny. It is kind of true. He does look kind of scrawny. This um standard pose, I don't love. His attack ones are better. I'll say that about the original Krom. So I don't hate that one. And Spring Krom. Nothing wrong with that. Yuichiro, Enkyo. I like these two. Um, the colors. The colors are really nice on, on these. Tiki Legendary Dragon. I love that they gave her the cloak from, uh, I think it's New Mystery, that she has that at some point for something. Maybe some promotional art or something. That's beautiful. Bright and Indian, of course. Controversial Noe, but I love the colors of this piece. Oh my god. It's just such a, like, the artwork is so great. Beautiful colors. But yeah, controversy abound, even though she's a thousand-year-old dragon. Soleil, also great. Nothing wrong here. This person's up there. They haven't done a lot, actually, but I like it. Midori Fu, I didn't realize this one was new, too. She's fine. It's kind of plain because, like, with the Hot Springs characters, I don't know. For some reason, I wasn't that um, stoked about them in general because, A, it's another Fates banner, and, B, I guess they just didn't get as creative with it as, as some of the uh, people speculated. Then we got Akira Fujikawa. I like Marissa's artwork. It's like a 9 out of 10 for me. These are these are great, too. This is beautiful. Normal Celica, I think... I don't know. I think her... Well, no, she... I don't know. Yeah, it's like a 9 out of 10 to me. There's, like, something... That I'm, I'm not, like, 100% sold on. But, um, great art as well. Kimihiko Fujisaka. With Jacob here. Just OG Jacob. This one's fine. A little bit more cartoony than the norm. But, uh, it doesn't really stand out. Or, it doesn't really, like, clash that much with other stuff. Kubun's character's lips are great. <laughs> Why does Enkyo hate noses? Let me see. Is that true? Oh, yeah. You are right, aren't you? It's really funny when you notice certain artist's quirks. Yeah, he does actually hate noses. <laughs> he really does. I don't know, it didn't bother me for some reason, but now I'll notice that probably each time. For example, when it comes to quirks, now we're talking about the best of the best when it comes to same face syndrome. Ryo Fujiwara. Now, once again, no hate. Still something here that I like, like Jacob. Christmas Robin here, it's fine. But man, like... It's so sad because there's nothing really wrong with this Joshua. I even like the colors and stuff. Like, it's really not wrong. It's just, like, missing something to me. And the face. I hate that. This, like, horizontal freaking mouth. This 
Seth face. Like, what is... What... What is this? It's too similar. Okay. And even Seth is like... There's nothing wrong with this artwork. Like, could use a little bit more detail here and there, I, I would say. But it's not, like, bad. I don't know. Just everybody has this, like, horizontal mouth. Same nose. Same eyes. No hate whatsoever. But, um... Far from my favorite, I'll say. Let's go a little bit faster. Um... Fuzi Choco. These are fine. Nothing wrong with these. Actually, no, this, this artwork of Hannah is fine. I hate her sprite in Heroes. It's, like, so, like, uninspired looking. It's just, I don't know. Gao. I like Mei a lot. Some people don't like Mei. I think this is fine. She looks very, like, bubbly. Nothing wrong with that. Summer Tiki is a little weird. I, I find it very interesting that they're committing to this, like, English accent, by the way, on these Tiki alts. Ever since Warriors. It's weird. Hakan. How can I not talk about Hakan? For real. Hakan is the thigh master, as I'm sure you guys know. We got Garnuff here. This is the newest one. Beautiful. He looks great. Beautiful color. It looks almost like watercolor styled, which is different, but I like it. Nothing wrong with Hawkeye. Wish uh, more people liked and used Hawkeye in the game. Nephany's artwork's amazing. I love the Nephany artwork. As soon as I saw that she had this artwork, I knew that I had to pull for Nephany. Absolutely. Hanoka is usually not a character that I love the way that she looks. Because um, a lot of times they'll make her kind of like, I don't know, just slightly off looking. This beautiful Hanoka right there. Love that artwork for Hanoka. Effie. Beautiful artwork for Effie. Seems like Hakan can do no wrong so far. I want some more Hakan artwork. Come on, IS. IS when? Then we have Kiyotaka Haimura with Deirdre and Julia, which makes sense. Mother and daughter combo there. I like these. These are fine. A little bit um, flatter as far as colors than some of the other ones we're looking at that have a little bit more shading, but I like these too. This is a nice way to do flat color. And these are some of the earlier arts too, and I still like them, so that speaks to the artist too. Hako. These are fine. I like the pink and, and uh, Felicia's hair. I like that. It's cute. Her, um, I think her, once again, sometimes they have, artists just have problems for some reason in like the normal stance. It, you would think that the harder ones to do would be the like, like, ah, like attacking face. But uh, usually they do those pretty well. And sometimes it's the stance ones that are just kind of weird. Sheeta, I'm not too sold on. She's okay. She's fine. Um, Shanna, I like Shanna's, if I'm being honest. It makes like what would ordinarily be like kind of a boring, normal peg knight girl. Interesting. Nothing wrong with Elise. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with that. Flora's fine. Flora, I think, looks a little scrawny looking. Yeah, I don't know. Something something about that. She's fine, but, you know. Hidari. So, Mr. Echo's artwork himself, Hidari. I like it a lot. Her hair looks different than normal Salika hair, but obviously, you know, she doesn't have her circlet and all that kind of stuff. Um, I like it. What I hate about this unit is that this character's sword breaks through the frame. And it's like, it's just such a... I don't know why they made her sword so big in Heroes. And that kind of triggers me for some reason. So, I'm like predisposed to not like it. But Hidari's amazing. I really liked the Echo stuff. My favorite thing about it was like, Hidari's stuff looked like he took the original artwork for Sacred Stones and like modernized it and brought it like to today's standards. And that's what I really loved about it because Sacred Stones was kind of a um, spiritual successor to Gaiden in a lot of ways. And so then taking a look at that artwork and like modernizing it for Gaiden, like, I, just, I don't know. It's just, there's something cyclical about that that I just love. So I liked the artwork for Echoes. It was beautiful. Yuji Himukai. Um, I don't like Ray's artwork, if I'm being honest. Faye, this is a little cartoony for me, but I think it still kind of works, even today. I don't not like that one. I think the new uh, Winter Faye, too. Nothing wrong with this one, either. There's definitely a lot more color and um, shading in this one, for sure. It works for Faye. Ray, though, his fingers are kind of fat and pudgy and kind of annoys me. There's, that's my take on that. This is my hot take on Ray. Shinosuke Hino with the Takumis and Leo. I don't love this Leo art. He looks kind of short. Like, he should be taller, I think. Takumi looks... I think I like normal Takumi. Yeah, I mean, he looks fine. Colors look a little washed out, perhaps. This looks great. I mean, that looks awesome. I love his look. So, once again, imp like, there's improvement there as well. It's cool to see. Um, Homazo is a perfect Oliver. Probably couldn't have asked anybody to do a better Oliver, honestly. It's, that's just gorgeous. It's very beautiful character art there. Of a beautiful man. Lily Hoshino. 
Yeah, I think I kind of abide by the usual with this. What ruins it too is that once you've seen like fan renditions of some of these characters who like will change the eyes or tweak it slightly and make it better, it's difficult to go back into the game because it's almost been like ruined for you. It's difficult to see the normal artwork the same again. It does look like a, a little bit like she's blind or something. Her eyes like have no color to them really. It's, it's really washed out. Um, but aside from that, like there's nothing really wrong with this. Hako Ichiro with uh, Gaius's and um, Oscar. Normal Gaius, I'll be honest, I don't like this one very much. I think his Awakening artwork was better. Especially um, his attack artwork, I think, is really... I don't like that artwork a lot. It's something with the face, I think. Summer Gaius is much better. I like that one. That one's, that one's great. Hako's fine. Hako Itagaki, these are not my favorite. It's unfortunate to find out that Roderick is one of the least popular characters in Heroes. Good fodder. I like the character. Artwork's not bad. Drog's fine. I don't love Drog. Gordon, eh. Finn's fine. I wish they gave him a better weapon. Lucius is okay. He's a little too happy, probably. <laughs> After what they did do him in Heroes, he shouldn't be that happy. Misei Ito. Um, this is some great Elwood artwork, especially because the first Elwood artwork we got, which we didn't get to yet, um, I didn't love that artwork either. And I know a lot of people did not. This is beautiful, too. And uh, Mikoto, as much as I didn't like the Adrift banner. No easy Ito with um, Tiki's here. I don't, I'll be honest, this one just lacks like detail. I want some more shading on this. Those are fine. Daisuke Izuka. Um, it's a pretty famous artist too, Fire Emblem. These are great. I usually like these. It's, you know, for some reason it's not my favorite, but I like them. Black Knight's great. Zel Zelgius is great. Uh, even Luke is good. I like this. This Marth I really like. I even like the normal artwork for Marth, but... One of the things that I like about Marth is he just looks kind of a little bit different in every, like, incarnation where someone draws him. And I think that's kind of cool for Marth, actually, as kind of his thing, you know? He looks so different over the years, but, um, I don't know. I like this one. Nothing wrong with Harden, either. Michaelis is fine. Minerva's great. And the new Grail, too. Interesting. Kawasumi. Um, these are great. These are beautiful. I don't like this Levitain more than OG Levitain, if I'm being honest. But this is also cute. I like it. Gray looks good. Kana looks good. This is this is up there for me. Kaya 8. Sometimes these are a little plain, but I really like Azura Lady of Ballads. This artwork, that's beautiful. Captured her perfectly. Normal Azura, I think, is missing a little something something. I don't know what's what's kind of missing with this one because she looks good. Like, maybe the blues could be more blue or something, like stand out a little bit more, but there's just something plain about it. These I wasn't too sold on. Legendary Azura, though, looks good. As much as people hate her, I like the artwork. I like her design for sure. Priscilla less leaves a little bit to be desired. Ethlin's fine. Tobin is fine, but he got screwed in other ways. Um, Catalina looks good. Kipu. These are beautiful. You could tell it's the same artist. Alencia doesn't, like, so I was saying this earlier. Alencia looks a little bit different here than she does in, like, in uh, Path of Radiance and Radiant Dawn. Like, it looks like it could be a different character. Um, but that's not, like, a negative for me, though, because she does, like, I like the, the way that she looks in this artwork here. And Lind looks great. Lind looks really, really good. Yeah. Senrikita. Um, legendary Fire Emblem artist. I gotta say that I really, here's my hot take on this one. I usually love Senrikita's work. Lately, I don't know what it is. I don't love it. I really, like, look at it. Karel, perfect. This, beautiful. Beautiful. It's perfect. Nothing wrong with that one. Carla, love it. Great. Give me more of that. Great. But then, like, some of the, okay, so this Ike is not, his artwork is not loading. But the new Ike, oh, I hate his face. I just can't look at him. I hate his face. This I this Ike face looks great. Looks great. Good job. Amazing. Amazing once again. Amazing. Maybe a little square faced here, but uh, it's Radiant Dawn Ike, so he's buffer. That's fine. That's fine. This Rioma, I really thought that I would have loved to see Rioma without this lobster armor and stuff, but um, and he doesn't like it. Doesn't look bad. I don't. I just don't know what it is that doesn't like. I just don't. When I saw this, I didn't want to pull for Yoma very much, and I should have, because this, like, looks cool. I don't know what it is about that one. New Cecilia looks great. I like this one, too. So, um, I guess I can't say that it's the recent stuff. But, um, here's one that gets me. I hate the face of Legendary Hector. Just look at this face. I, like, amazing Legendary Artist. But there's sometimes there's a face that I just don't like looking at, and I don't know what it is about it. it just look He looks cross-eyed to me. I cannot stand the fact that he just looks cross-eyed. It just... Do you see what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. He just... Man. Hector getting good art in Heroes is, like, really hard for some reason. Even though there's a million Hectors. There's not one that's, like, a 10 out of 10 for me for some reason. I gotta look at the new Ike, though. I really... I gotta bring it up. It's it's the same thing with the Hector one. I just Look at that face. It's just, like, his forehead, like, goes out too far at the top. And I really want to fix it. And it really bothers me. I don't know why. 
That's just, that's that one for me. But yeah, so Senrikita is usually very consistent, very good, and I love the artwork here. But um, there's been a couple where I don't love them so much. And I mean, it's, it's very hard. I mean, I don't even love the stuff that I make most of the time when it comes to art. Kokan Confuzi, I, that's definitely not how to say it, but uh, <laughs> these are fine. Not my favorite of all time, but they're, they're no nothing wrong with this. La Rochelle looks good. Tsukasa Kotobuki. This is a little bit more simple than a lot of the ones that we've gotten recently, but I really like the colors, and I think they did a good job, um, even still. Horiguchi Kusei. I like Maribel. Nothing wrong with that one. Yusuke Kozaki. This is a big one. I, generally speaking, like Yusuke Kozaki's work, but there are times where it's beginning for me. Maybe I'm getting Yusuke fatigued. There are times when it starts to get, um, like, generic looking for me for some reason. Um, maybe it's because he did all of the main characters and heroes. Maybe that's why. But like Thrizir, there's nothing wrong with her. I don't know. You're just Sometimes I can't explain it. They just start to look more and more generic. And uh, I'm kind of bored of seeing that generic kind of look. He has a certain look to his art. He doesn't have like same face syndrome really. But um, there's definitely a certain look to it. And sometimes I'm kind of bored of it because we see it so often. Because he's such a stand-up artist that always does really great work. They have him do so much of it that... Um, I guess I'm just bored of seeing it. I just want to see, like, less of it. It's mean, but, um, Hell, though. Hell looks amazing. That looks great. So, once again, it depends. 